Uh, investigators notice that uh, Russia was involved in this uh, case, and uh, in your statement you draw attention to this, uh, that the book system was tracked in from Russia and returned to Russia after shooting down the plane. Investigators also say that uh, they identified 100 people responsible for these actions. So what is your line uh, regarding specific role of Russia and Russian government uh, in that case? Again, uh, our assessment, uh, which is consistent with the investigation team's assessment in this interim report, is that the, the airplane was shot down by a Buick surface-to-air missile that was fired from separatist control, not government controlled, territory in eastern Ukraine. Um, and it also makes clear that that missile system was transported from Russia into Russian-backed separatist-controlled territory in Ukraine before the incident, and then moved back out to Russia after the shootdown. Um, and this is the result of months long, what, 15 months, something like that, uh, long, uh, thorough and partial, credible examination uh, of the incident. Uh, and it, it totally comports with what the Secretary said just a few days after the incident happened. But the investigation is ongoing. This is an interim report. Um, we're glad that they continue to investigate, and we look forward to seeing the results uh, when they're completed. Yeah. Excuse me. Just to follow up on that, I mean, what sort of, if any, next steps will you be taking? Will you bring this up with the Russians? I mean, what, I mean, if any, do you have a plan going forward? Now? Well, again, it's an interim report. I think we need to let the investigation uh, conclude. I don't want to get ahead of decisions. Uh, 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 right now, while they're still in investigating, all, all the indications are, as I said, comport with what our views were of, of the incident, and we'll just have to see, you know, how it plays out. Have we, uh, have we had conversations with Russian counterparts uh, since this incident about our concerns about this narrative, about our views? Uh, absolutely, we have. Absolutely, we have. But I'm not going to get ahead of anything uh, yet. Welcome the conclusion of the report. I've had, are you aware of the Russian response to the? conclusions? Yes. And what do you make of the Russian reaction? To <laughs> uh, we've seen the response. I think uh, we hold it to be completely without merit and absolutely not uh, in, in keeping with, uh, with the findings of the interim report and certainly not in keeping with what our own understanding was uh, even uh, just days afterward. Do you want to, I'm wondering if you could kind of Look at this in a bigger context, given what you've accused Russia of doing in Syria with its air force and what you're talking about in terms of, you know, this report. I'm wondering if you have any larger kind of thing to say about Russian actions in, in these type of conflicts. Here's what I would say, you know, uh, more broadly speaking. I mean, uh, A lot of the tensions that we're dealing with are the result of Russian decisions. Decisions made in Moscow to destabilize uh, uh, areas of the European continent, to prop up a brutal dictatorship in, in Syria. These are Russian sovereign decisions that they also should have to speak to. And aren't necessarily being challenged uh, by media in their own country uh, to face up to these decisions that they're making. That said, uh, I work for a man who I think you all know uh, believes in the power of dialogue and diplomacy. And, and he has said many times that where there are areas where we can cooperate with Russia, uh, we're going to explore those opportunities. The Iran deal was one of them. Um, and uh, up until lately, uh, I think we really believed that Syria was one of those. Uh, they were obviously having uh, significant doubts about that now going forward. But, um, but he's not afraid to try to find common ground where it can be had uh, and where we can work with Russia on things. Obviously, Ukraine is one of those areas where we continue to have major disagreements uh, uh, with uh, the Russian approach. And that is why the sanctions regime stays in place, because Minsk isn't fully implemented, because Russia hasn't fully implemented their side. Now, I understand there's Ukrainian obligations on that, uh, and we're working closely with them towards that end, 
uh, and they have implemented many steps. Um, but, uh, but you know, Russia has significant choices and decisions um, uh, to make. Um, they're decisions that will either um, further isolate them from the international community or help to facilitate uh, a better uh, integration uh, with the international community. Just a quick one on 